here we are. So welcome to another video for Sonic Sorcery, another tutorial. Um, I'm Stefan Key, your Sonic Sorcerer. And in this video, I would like to show you how I created um, my 432 Hertz Chakra Alignment Tesla Code Sonic Activation. Um, it's a lot of words in there. But the idea was basically uh, to create something um, that can help us align our energy centers to be able to receive uh, higher frequency energies more easily um, and, and get a bigger use out of those energies. Because I believe whenever there's like, like an event, like a solstice or like an eclipse or 11-11, um, 10-10, like one of those portal days, um, this is a window of opportunity where higher frequency energy is entering our system the earth and then ultimately also our bodies and um, the more aligned we are the, the more we can actually utilize those frequencies and integrate them upgrade our systems and um, use those energies for manifestation so my idea was to create like a chakra attunement journey um, yeah that can assist with that so the foundation is um, a new template that I'm working on. It's not ready yet, but I will show you some elements of it that I used in order to create this journey. And in the center of it, uh, you see there is crystal bolts, right? Crystal bolt drones. And um, basically, I have a drone for each chakra. I can play you one. Like, let's say I solo this, right? You're here. This is a lower drone of. Um, of the root chakra, right? And then I have all up until the crown. And then I also have um, a mid drone. So that's an octifier. And also a high one. Right? And I have this for each chakra. And uh, those I created with the granular uh, synthesis method and I'm not going into in this video. Um, maybe I will do another video about this one, but this will kind of go beyond the scope. And it all started originally with those um, bolts here. So these are two sets of chakra bolts. Here you see um, the, the size of it, right? Like 24 inch. And then I just recorded each of them and then here we have the second set and um, you might ask yourself okay so what does that have to do with the chakras and this approach is the idea that um, the C major scale tuned to 432 Hertz is actually resonating the chakras and then you see like each node is um, triggering or activating uh, a higher chakra. So as we go up the nodes in the scale, we go up the seven main chakras, right? So that's the idea of this approach. I know there are others, and, and we explored the planetary chakra uh, approach with the cosmic octave and the planetary tuning as well, and we did a template, and I can put you a link in that if you haven't seen that. But this is the approach um, with the 432 hertz C major scale. And so... This was the foundation, having those um, ball recordings, right? And um, then what else do we have here? Uh, that's a <laughs> shamanic drum rack, also pretty cool. Um, these are different recordings here of shamanic drums, right? With a delay effect and some EQ and compression and some saturation to make it sound more um, punchy and alive, right? So this is how it sounds without um, the drum rack. And if I solo this and if I hit play, right, this is one drum hit. But if I enable the delay again, and because the feedback is so high, it creates this kind of 
polyrhythm, right? The, the echo is not even finished yet, and then it re-triggers the clip already. If you see here, still echo, and the next one comes in, but this is going to be echoed, and this creates this kind of polyrhythmic mm, sensation or impression with just one drum hit. And then there's another drum hit here. this extra one and, and a couple of more here and then, then it gets like really dynamic and I have used those two clips in the arrangement which I will show you in a second and what else we have here um, yeah so those are like a bunch of crystal ball hits that I put through effects right so those create like really interesting textures Just here, this one went through uh, super massive. This one went through spaced out. Right? And those are all just nice additional textures. Nice. They create some attunement, but also that are kind of melodic in a sense. <laughs> this gets a bit trippy. So those are in here, and there's also some singing bowl drones, you know, just like bowls played, different bowls. And those can be just drones that you can put in the background of your track so that you have like some sort of pad and atmosphere going, but it's actually coming from singing bowl and then we have Tibetan bowls as well and this one is played with the bow very unique so like with a violin bow all right so that's cool and, and then we have some more hits here and this, by the way, is all tuned to 432 hertz, even if it's not saying that. And this is all also stuff that is going to be in my upcoming template called Ether and Earth, which has a shamanic and an ethereal section. Here we're just focusing pretty much on the ethereal section, except the shamanic drums, um, which I find really interesting and important, actually, um, for the grounding, because um, we kind of tuning ourselves in to receive higher energies but then it's also really important to have something grounding with the shamanic drum which connects us to the earth still so we can really integrate it and also um, the drum also has an entrainment effect for our brain because of the drumming uh, we get into kind of a trance state or like we shift our brain functionality a little bit from the linear thinking into a more um, non-linear emotional kind of imaginative state or dream state meditative state that's the idea and there's are other crystal balls here and then there's a drone here and this one i have as the main drone um, in the whole journey and um, so now let's have a look at the arrangement right so this is actually the journey as you can hear it here like here it's bounced already it's a 42 minute journey and um, if you look you see here those locators, right? And my idea was I wanted to have like around like 45 minute journey and I wanted each chakra to play like six minutes. And then um, what you can do is, you know, you can look at the timeline here and you can right click and then you can add a locator and then you can type something in. And um, then you have the locator and you can move it around and it also serves as a play button, right? If I click, double click here, then it's playing from the sacred. And if I click here, it's playing from the throat, right? So basically I laid out this um, skeleton or this structure first. So that I know, like if you zoom in, you see like every six minutes, right? Here's the sacred chakra and in six minutes, uh, it comes in. And then after 12 minutes, the solar plexus comes in. So this is what I did first, I laid it out and um, so before we 
have a look at, at this structure here. Let's go from top to bottom and let me introduce you to this here, which is a 528 hertz isochronic tone. And this serves two purposes, right? So as we listen to it, um, it's, it's fading in slowly because there's automation on it. But basically what it is, is um, an operator. Um, now you can hear it fading in slowly. It's an operator um, set to a fixed frequency. And if you want to know how to do this, I made a video called um, Sofagia Frequencies in Ableton or something like that. I will put it up here in the um, links where you can click on it um, if you don't know how to do this. And I set to a fixed frequency of 528 hertz and 528 hertz is a Sofagia frequency. Um, that has many benefits, but the one that I chose it for is that it's actually seen to be activating and triggering our DNA and basically inviting us to integrate and open up to our dormant information and potential so that we can uh, unlock um, abilities that might be stored there from other lifetimes um, as the DNA is kind of like a library of memories and, and abilities and skills. And this frequency is either set to be repairing, um, you know, broken uh, DNA or to activate dormant potential. So this is why I put it in. And let me increase the volume a little bit so you can hear it a bit more clearly. Um, and it's just not uh, that, it's also, let me turn it off like, step by step right so the first thing that I did so this is the pure tone this is 528 Hertz the pure tone and then I put an auto pen on here and I created an isochronic tone and I made a video about how to do that so if you want to check it out I'm also going to link it in here uh, and basically now it's pulsing at 4.5 Hertz which is a theta state but is also regarded as shamanic consciousness, right? So now um, this is um, doing a brainwave entrainment where we get entrained into a very kind of expanded awareness, like a state that shamans are in when they do their, their shamanic journeys and travels. And uh, yeah, this just helps us to get into this state um, to have less resistance to the frequencies coming in and, and being more open and, and receptive to higher frequencies and, and ideas. And then I also added <laughs> a chorus effect for the cosmic um, sensation and also uh, to create some variations a little bit. But if you see, like I'm kind of obsessed with the Tesla code, like the three, six and nine, so wherever, I said important parameters, they always reflect this, right? So the amount is set to 111 milliseconds, right? Which adds up to three. And then again, here we find the 528 again in the rate, um, which also then adds up to um, 15, which adds up to six, right? So here have the three and the six, and the, here's the nine, the 4.5. So um, that's why it's called Tesla code also, because I believe that three, six, and nine are very um, important numbers in terms of stability and harmonic resonance and alignment and um, cosmic codes and sacred geometry and stuff like that. So um, I am pretty much obsessed with setting values. Here you can see 90.6, right? So this adds up to 15, which is 6 again. And here you have 3 again. So all those values I choose purposefully to mirror 3, 6, or 9 for this harmonic resonance effect or the Tesla code effect. And then the LFO here um, is mapped to the dry wet, which then increases and decreases the volume a little bit over time. Now you can see, you know, it's, it's uh, fading out the chorus a little bit. So it gets a little bit more cosmic and a little less cosmic. And this is just interesting over a long period of time. Um, to have this modulation going, right? So I don't have to automate that in here. I just let the LFO do it at a speed of 0 0.03 hertz. Um, it is moving this dry wet knob 
right? If I if I would increase, right, it can get it even more cosmic. Now it gets a bit distorted, but I wanted it to be like super slow, 0.03 hertz. So that's the first thing, and then I have a utility, which is then also automated the gain. So it's coming in and out, right? So now you see uh, we're almost losing it. And then it comes back in. And this is also just, again, um, for the movement and also for the transitions. So here we transition into a new chakra and, and to get a little bit more mm, clean on that and, and to not have like too much cosmic stuff going on, right, compared to this. So now when the new chakra is coming in, if I unsolo this, right, as compared to this, where the volume is pretty high, it's almost gone right so that's the first thing the 528 hertz isochronic tone and then there's another interesting thing which is <clears throat> this sound which is also pretty cosmic and you might be really surprised if I turn everything off <laughs> it's actually a Tibetan ball Right, so here, and those are all like C major chords, so those are lower balls, C, E, G, right, which make up a C major chord, and as I said in the beginning, this approach is um, the major scale, the C major scale to tune the chakras, so you could like put that also like in relationship to the chakras, so the C would be the root, the E would be the throat, and the G uh, would be, let me check. No, sorry, the E would be the solar, the G would be the throat, right? And at the same time, just musically speaking, um, the C major chord is like the most stable chord there is. Like super harmonic, super stable, and, you know, for sound healing, I prefer to work with major chords. And this is just super harmonic and super resonant. And so this is something that you can use in your journeys. But what I did, I used this high one here. And then I created another isochronic tone with an auto pen. This time it's 8 hertz, um, which is a frequency like um, in Delta, I believe. And this is a frequency that has been measured to, to come out of uh, healers, like when they're in a healing state, like um, they could measure a frequency of 8 hertz. Um, so, uh, and there's also like a lot of people working in, in trauma therapy and stuff like that with 8 hertz so that's why i use this frequency here 8 hertz like say like the pulse for the isochronic tone but then i also wanted to move so then i put another auto pen and this one is actually moving it from left to right right as you can see here and here it's moving from right to left so again this creates more interest and um let's the sound move a little bit more on the stereo field and then I put a delay on there, but this time it's not synced to the beat, but it's like uh, in, in milliseconds, so then you can hear, right, it's kind of um, delaying the sound, and then I automated this, so you can see right now it's 360 milliseconds again, 3, 6, uh, and 9, right, 3, 6 adds up to 9, and 51%, which is 6, 45%, which is 9, so again, you feel, find the Tesla code here. And um, then I automated this here, uh, as you can see, so this is the delay time automation, and if I go here, for instance, you can see it's moving, and you hear it, right, and because it's set to re-pitch, it will actually change the pitch, so when I change the delay time, and you can get there, like, if it looks like this, you just click to time, like you click on sync and it switches into um, time mode and then you can change the milliseconds. 
<laughs> and this creates this cool cosmic effect that are just super interesting but at its base it's still like this 8 hertz by now be oh like sorry isochronic tone right so yeah that is that this is another isochronic tone 8 hertz created out of a tibetan ball and then uh, we have the chakra bolts here and this is just like for each chakra playing <clears throat> the ball from from the set here and then you know as i said it starts with the low ball drone and then uh, we go at some point to the mid ball drone and then while the low is still playing and then the high comes in and then they all slowly fade out and while this happens um, there's also the shamanic drum coming in after eight bars like this is the first pattern and then when all the drones are in there like all the chakra drones are playing and we switch to the and then it gets like really intense so this is kind of the peak like the cosmic frequencies are peaking here and then i have just um a little soundscape here of those crystal balls and and each chakra has has another one right so those are the ones that i showed you over here these guys and i just put them in um, how i felt they were fitting and yeah and then there's this drone here that is playing like all the time kind of gluing everything together like the foundation and then uh, you might wonder like why here there are no drums in the third eye and then in the crown and i did that on purpose because i felt okay so now we're entering like the higher realms you know like the third eye to me is always like very cosmic and i really just wanted to give that space also after all this intensity you know um to really allow ourselves to transcend a little bit more like the drum was still pretty grounding but now it's like really the moment to transcend and to you know go through the portal of the third eye so there's no drums in here and and the same goes for the crown this is then like there's almost not much going on except the drones here then at the very end there's another drone coming in like this one right which is also like super cosmic like the crown chakra is like the whole connection to the divine to the universe and i wanted that to reflect in here and the drums would have been kind of too much so i just left them out after the throat chakra there's no more drums that's um, pretty much it so um, for all the people who are part of my academy for sonic sorcery um, so if you don't know I, I have a, like an online community called academy for sonic sorcery and um, there you have different membership options so you can be uh, wait, where are we going here your page membership so um you have like the option to become an adept or a mage and um the mages they get uh, one hour of private online coaching with me per month and the adepts they can and join our community our discord our weekly q a meetings and they can also access um, the download to templates like this so this whole um, project here will be available for my members to download for free and um, yeah if you want to know more about what we're doing here in the academy for sonic sorcery so 
Um, it's a community of like-minded kindred spirits, like people who like to create healing music, who create like meditation music and music that uplifts the frequency of um, the planet. And we have like um, all kinds of conversations about what is inspiring, how we can create um, better art. And then we give ourselves like mixing and production tips, we talk about sound healing and the science behind it. Um, we give each other feedback on our tracks. So when, when you want to have like some feedback and um, creative input, you know, you can check this out. And um, yeah, as I said, we have our, our weekly meetings. We meet once uh, a week, every Wednesday and have a Q&A. But before that, we have a drop in. So we kind of have a sharing circle, how we are doing. We always share what we are grateful for on this week and what our wins are. And then, um, yeah, we move on to more technical questions or questions related to um, music production and sound healing and things like this. So, yeah, if that's uh, something that you're interested in, um, I will put the link in the description to the Academy for Sonic Sorcery. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and keep creating magic with sound. Bye-bye.